2019 iPhone designs that we were not liking are apparently already being blessed by case makers. Google seems committed to giving us more A smartphones, which we understand means affordable, and Huawei is going all out with 5G with an event happening pretty much a week from now. I'm Jaime Rivera, and uh, Google I.O. is over. We still are going to stay here with Google in San Francisco. More to come on that. This is Pocket Now Daily. The official news today begin once again. I don't understand if this is a pattern or what. More Apple deals. The new AirPods, the brand new ones. If you want them, $140 on Costco. If you want to get the wireless charging case, that's going to cost you $180 in combination. Still, it continues to be the thing where Apple products continue to be discounted. Finally, Apple. Now let's talk about uh, 5G and Huawei, as the company has just sent out press invitations for an event to happen in London, May 16th. And uh, from the reports and from what we have, it's apparently going to be a 5G event. Reports have it that this is going to be that 5G variant that was leaked of the Mate, uh, I think it was the Mate 20X, I believe. Uh, whatever the case may be, stay tuned. I mean, it's already starting. Now, let's move the spotlight over to Android Q. Obviously, there are so many good changes that are coming to it, but there are also some changes that a lot of people did not notice and, uh, well, that wasn't really disclosed by Google. Android Beam is dead. Uh, for those of you that were using Android Beam, which I think is only like three of us because Android Beam was so terrible, um, it's now no longer. We don't have an alternative except what you have in the files application, which is actually quite seamless if you know how to use it. But yeah, Android Beam, it was nice to not meet you. And let's continue talking about Google. There have been more interviews, there have been more discussions with executives. The company is confirming that they are committed to affordable smartphones, affordable pixels, at least for the time being. So I guess we now understand what the A stands for in Pixel 3a, Pixel 3 affordable. It seems that whatever other phones we're gonna be getting going forward, they will continue with this mentality of giving us the high end and giving us the mid tier that actually is also capable of the high end, which is good news. I'm really having a great experience with the 3a. And finally, the hottest news today have to do with iPhones and the designs we don't want. Pretty much whenever case makers get a hold of molds and everything, this is when we pretty much have a confirmation of what the design is going to be. Um, it's kind of early, which makes me wonder if it's that we're getting this phone at WWDC, which I, I don't think is going to happen. The last time there was an iPhone announced at WWDC was the iPhone 4. Uh, so, no, I don't think that's going to be the case right now, but yeah, the stove design, uh, which is horrendous. Uh, but let us know in the comments down below as this has progressed. I mean, have you started liking the design more or less? Because in my case, I mean, I can't believe this is coming out of the oven from Apple. I honestly, I don't like it. But that's just me. Leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know your opinion. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to both our channels, English and Spanish, for more videos like this one. You can follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, or on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.